welcome to the kitchen of the two cooks. So uh, it's November and we all know that uh, you can get a really good deal on turkeys in November, which we did. Um, we're not having any big family dinners or anything. We just like to make turkey and get a million meals out of it. So my goal today is to show you how I have always prepared a turkey or the easiest way. It's good. I'm going to make turkey and stuffing today. Um, and uh, so that's it. So uh, let's get started with the turkey. So uh, we bought this on Saturday. It's been defrosting. Uh, now I will have to say there's mixed ways of uh, what they recommend you do, but I just left it like this um, in a dish because the condensation makes a mess if you don't. Um, and I'm gonna get it out of here. Somehow, <clears throat> it might be a chore. Now I'm using scissors that I can wash because anything that touches this turkey is gonna need to be washed. And this is why we do this in the sink. Because it's just gonna be full of water. Now, you know, a lot of people really prefer their organic and free range turkeys, but you know, we're totally okay with these. Now, first thing I want to do is um, I'm going to clean this thing up a little bit. I got to take this plastic out. It's usually a battle. Oh, oh. no, I need a shower. Um, always remove the bag of giblets. Sometimes you get bonus parts in there. Don't cook your turkey with that in there. And there's always this part. Mm, that's so good. <laughs> the neck. We're going to um, save these parts up for when we make our uh, stock with the leftover stuff. So, yeah, so you look in here, it's just like this, ugh, it's gross. I'm going to get that out of there. It doesn't have any frozen chunks. Sometimes there's a big old frozen chunk of ice in the middle of it. So let me get this over here. I'm gonna rinse this off. Um, I was just reading, don't rinse your turkey, but you know what? I don't, what am I gonna do? Keep that stuff in there? I'm gonna rinse it. There's also this cavity back here. There's the neck and then there's the, the back cavity. We're gonna use those both for um, stuffing. Now in here, sometimes this little section, I don't know if you can see it, but right here in the front, there's this little section of, it's like, I don't know what body part that is in there, but it's gross. And I remember my mom teaching me to scoop that out of there, which is another reason why I do this, because it is kind of a gross job. And you want to reach in there, make sure all the stuff really was cleaned out. Otherwise, it's gone in your stuffing. So, there's that part. I'm going to uh, let this sit here and drain. Okay. For a few minutes, huh? Are you supposed to make a dance first? Oh yeah, we could do the chicken dance. Which way to do it? Woo! Boo doo boo boo doo doo doo. Okay. There freak go. out my kids doing that. <laughs> I do a chicken stew. This thing, if you're not sure what it is, I love when a turkey comes with a little uh, temperature done thingy because I actually trust that, um, especially since we're gonna cook it in the uh, turkey bag. So, so there you have that for right now. I'm just gonna let this sit for a few minutes and and drain um thank you mr bird for giving your life to us also this uh the brand of this turkey had a little tag on it that you could look up where it was farmed and this came from northwest minnesota so the well farmers there. Bird. it is a well-traveled bird <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, this is just a 13 pounder, which uh, is going to be perfect for, since it's, like I said, it's the two of us, we'll get sandwiches and turkey all the king, turkey tetrazzini, turkey enchiladas, turkey, enchiladas, turkey, turkey curry, curry, I know, all the things. Turkey stock. Okay, so we'll come back later when we're ready to start working on the, um, the stuffing. Huh? <laughs> yeah? You're doing this ahead for, because what? Well, so using the oven bags, they say that you should put some uh, a cup, a sliced onion, medium, and some celery in the bottom of the bag. So I'm just doing this ahead of time. So I'll have it all ready. And I'm using kind of a tired onion and more tired celery because we're not gonna eat these. They're going to create some moisture in the turkey bag. So I'm just gonna set that aside right now. Okay, in preparation for my stuffing, I am going to need onion, celery, 
mushrooms, and bread cubes. These usually come with a spice packet. I'll be getting out some other spices when I get, get ready, but I'm going to splice up these things, and um, I'm not gonna make you have to endure that, just me, and uh, we'll get back with what I'm gonna do with all that stuff. And you're gonna mix them together in a giant bowl, right? Yes, so I can fling it all over the place. Okay, so I have uh, chopped up my uh, holy trinity of stuffing vegetables. Um, onions, I chopped those pretty fine. Celery, I prefer to do it fine. My mom used to always do it big and I was like, well, who wants a big old bite of celery? Um, but I do love mushrooms, so I do the mushrooms kind of a, kind of a larger slice. So I'm gonna put these uh, in a pan here. I gotta get this going first. I put a, a, a cube of butter is what I'm gonna cook it in. Uh, I might even add more butter to this. I just totally just wing this the whole time. So I'm gonna let that melt and uh, add those veg in there in a minute. And then we'll check that out. Okay, okay so my butter is melted. I'm gonna put all these in here and I'm gonna keep an eye on them and cook them around until the onions are whoa, translucent. And this cooks down quite a bit. Makes a lot of moisture that we love. Because um, I just really like my stuffing to not be dry. It won't be. So you can tell I just kind of <laughs> I could not tell you the measurements of these. And one onion, I don't know what that was about you know, 10 mushrooms and about two stalks of celery. Oh, I was gonna say that you can buy this stuff already chopped up and ready to go in the produce department. I've seen it at a variety of stores, so I think if you, uh, this time of year when they have turkeys happening, and if you wanna be lazy, you can just buy the stuff already chopped up. So we'll just let this go for a little while and let that cook down. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, onions look um, translucent now. I like to kind of cook the mushrooms until they're fairly cooked. I mean, they are gonna cook even more in the turkey, but so anyway, I'm gonna call that good. I'll dump this into a big bowl. Nothing worse than putting something in a too small of a bowl and then you have to get a bigger bowl and then you get a wash the bowl. Okay, see there's a lot of liquid in there, so that's good. Steamy. Yep, the steaming up your camera. Okay. We also have our cocktails made because people should cook with cocktails while you cook. You don't want your guests to be the only ones drinking. Mm -hmm. So it might get interesting later. Okay, so there's my steaming bowl of vegetables. It kind of looks like I got a lot, but you know what? We're not even supposed to really be eating bread, so it's okay. I'm gonna put the bread cubes in there. This bag actually had so many crumbs in it that I strained them out of there because I don't I don't want it to be gross and mushy in there. So I'm gonna blend that in a little bit just to see how I'm looking. It doesn't really look like there's too much vegetable or anything. I think this one didn't have a spice bag. Nope, yet. no spice bag. A lot of times they do. This is the one that's just from the bakery though. So the store bakery, so that's probably why. Okay, so that looks good. It's actually got a lot of nice moisture in it. Ooh, steamy. So you could totally prep those, uh, cook those vegetables up in advance and then add them in here. So now, because there was no herbs, I need to, I need to just wing it. So what I have is uh, I went out to the garden and I got some uh, thyme and rosemary. And uh, I mean, if you have dry, use that. But I'm gonna put that in there. That's a good thing to have. I looked up poultry spices. Cause I used to actually, you can just buy poultry spices and got some ideas of what to put in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of celery salt because celery is a good. Ugh, this is hard to do. Okay, just put some of that in there. Then I have some dried sage that we dried ourselves from our garden at some point. I'm gonna put a generous amount of that in there because you want it to be nice and savory flavored. Then what else do we have? Huh. I'm gonna put a splash of nutmeg in there this time. I saw that on the 
homemade poultry seasonings. Not too much though, because I don't want it to be like pie. Maybe a little more. That makes an interesting little addition to things. Salt and pepper. That's where your seasoning really, flavors will really come from. I'm gonna be fairly generous with that. Maybe a more than a teaspoon. And some salt. Now I am gonna be adding some chicken broth to this, so I don't wanna to get too crazy with the salt, but I also don't want it to be bland. Let's see, what else did I have? Salt and pepper. I think it was all the things. So I'm gonna blend that in before it gets too stuck there. We'll be tasting this too to see if that seems to be enough. You just always gotta make sure you have enough salt, but not too much. Okay. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm gonna add some chicken broth. If you have your homemade chicken broth, do it. But I'm going with the easy thing. I'm trying to make this like how it, everybody can do it. We no. have we have homemade turkey broth, and she said just don't do it. But I know. Hey, we but we cook different. I'm a little more ghetto, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there. Maybe about half a can. It's going to be moisture coming from uh, the bird, too. Um, if you wanted to cook your stuffing not in the bird, you'd use a lot more moisture. Put it in a um, like 9 by 13 kind of a pan and bake it, but you'd have to put a lot of juice on there. And I'll start with that, and then I'm going to put some white wine in here. Now, this part reminds me of my dad because um, it wasn't me to choke up. I don't know why. <laughs> My dad, I wasn't really, my dad wasn't my favorite, but he's the one who actually came to my house one time to show me how to make stuffing. And I was like, really, there's wine in there? I was, I was really surprised, but I think he cooked everything with wine. Um, but uh, my point about my dad, though, is that I remember helping my mom make stuffing my whole life, right? You're five years old and you're chopping up things. And when I went to make it for myself for the first time, she sent my dad over to show me how to do it. And I really don't remember my dad ever making stuffing. So this is, maybe this is my dad's version. Let's see how moist that is. I think I want a little bit more moisture in there. You can add more butter if you want. I seem to recall like two cubes of butter going in there. Okay, I think that's gonna be good. I don't wanna overdo it. Let's see how, that, how that's tasting. Hmm. I think I want some more sage in there. Something more herbalicious. Okay. I think I got the salt good. That looks good to me. Okay, so it's gonna stall for a minute here and our next step is going to be stuffing the bird. Stand by for that. So that's why the unruly got into the wine line up here. Um, we're having vodka while <laughs> the cooking happens, which is totally appropriate. But we have this beautiful Tsumi Pinot. We've got the Burnt Sacrifice from Orange Swift, which is a red blend from uh, Napa. And we have the Mazako Pomo, which is a really delicious Reserve. wine. And that is out just because it was open yesterday and we didn't finish it. So <laughs> that's got to get done. Now, you know, my dad always used to make stuffing with chestnuts in it. And yeah, I've uh, done that. man, it was really, really good. I did it one year, but um, Kelly doesn't like to give up her, I know. her stuffing. It's a comfort food. Can't help myself. Okay, here goes the fun part. I don't, that I really don't like, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna start with uh, the neck. Usually there's a bigger flap of stuff here, which I have to tell you, when that's cooked, when we're done, people fight over that. That part gets really good when it's crispy. But anyway, here we go. I'm just gonna use my hands. It's the best way to do this. And just shove it in there. You don't wanna make it too, um, oh, is that going over? I think it is. <laughs> You don't want to shove it in too uh, like compact, but you want to be able to get enough of this in there. There's a lot of room in the other end of this bird, so just want to take advantage of 
of uh, just a little bit of space to get that in there. So, zoom down here. It's just messy. Ugh, dumb. But delicious. Okay, I think that's just about good. I'm gonna go with that. Now, somehow I have to manage to um, cover this up. I'm kind of leaving these flappy things because those work good to just kind of sew it up. So, this is off here. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of foil in here to help seal this up a little. Make a little cap like thing here. And this is just one of those things you just do your best, that's all you can do. Sorry, excuse me. Could have used a smaller piece, but that's gonna work. Okay, now I have these little um, that was crooked. These little lacers, you know, the picture on the package shows people like lacing them like a bodice, but we mostly use them as like pins to try to pin this in. So I kind of weave it through and then find a spot to just shove it in there to try to seal that little flap up as much as we can. This is gonna come around at all. A little bit. It's got a nice little layer of fat on it, so that'll be really good. Okay, oh, come here, get skin. Just kind of stick it yeah, in like that. Working. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, now, I guess I didn't really need these little flappy things, but let's do that. Okay, now I have to turn this thing over. Man, if you're doing like a 25 pound bird, this is a lot of work. All right, I guess I could try to do it from the side. Now this is gonna hold a lot more, and that did just go right through. I've never had to do that before. But there's a lot of room in here, and so we want to get, hopefully we can get all this in there, but we'll see. Sometimes there's extra and you cook it in another. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally you can do that. Because as much as we shouldn't have this, this stuff is really just a requirement for me with a sandwich. So with the leftovers, you gotta have stuffing. Oh my God. It goes on your turkey sandwich. It goes on your turkey. You can make a dressing waffle. Yeah. That you make, make a, sandwich a sandwich out of. That was really good. Yeah. I'll have to do that. I know. Cause just because it's really good. Oh, a lot right. better. Now you can see. Oh, I think I might be able to get most of it in there. Looks like it's going. Yep. Whatever's not going on the floor anyway. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, we don't have a dog to help with that. And I can kind of go a little ways out of here because I can cover it up with foil. I just really like the, the stuffing that's inside a bird. It's the best part. I remember, um, you know, when you have a big old bunch of people eating the dinner at the same time, that the stuffing that had been in the bird would get go away fast. And then all we had was that boring, other stuff. This is kind of weird looking, but I'm going to make it work, man. And so there is a thing about, um, you know, some people really adamantly believe that you should not cook your stuffing in your bird because of um, bacteria. It, it gets the blood from the bird and maybe it doesn't get up to the 180 degrees or 165, 165. Is what your internal should be. So you got to make sure that the stuffing gets all the way cooked. And, and we, I really never checked the temperature we of have it. Never had an issue. But you know, I and hate that term. You do you, but we've had. You do um, what's best for you. I've had stuffing inside turkey for probably sixty-seven years. <laughs> Me too, but not sixty-seven. Never once got sick. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna uh, try to get that foil in there somehow. No, I was thinking about uh, the only time I've ever gotten sick from Thanksgiving or maybe Christmas dinner is when I ate too many pieces of pie after when oh, I was already yeah. full. Which we're not pie. having. I know, we're not having any pie. You can have wine. Just try this. So, I, no tried, I tried to have company at the last minute so I'd have an excuse to make pie, but it didn't work out. <laughs> no, the people we invited have to work or choose to work because not everybody wants to spend 
uh, holidays with family. We, we have kids and grandkids, but some of them live out of the area and the other one is free to do what, well, they, there's two, I guess there's two more. They get to do whatever they want without being obligated to the old people. So actually that came out pretty good. Go. Um, I don't know if I need to try to put the, the po what do you call it, the Pope's, Pope's nose? nose? I think I could use this up a little just to make sure it, um, Eh. So it kind of seals in there a little bit. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That'll hold it in a little bit. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Now, now you have a little foil problem over there. I know, I see right it. Hand. I see it. I just need to get this. Ooh, yeah, take it. Okay. Oh, that went all the way through. Well, that yep. isn't good. I want it to go. Well, it's okay. It's holding. It's going to hold. All right. Oh, wait. We're not done. We have to do We have to do some turkey yeah, bondage. Yeah, you have the tying to do. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait. That's just not right. You don't like it? No. Okay. I'm just doing this job. I need it to go inside more. <clears throat> oh, okay. That's much better. <sighs> okay. Now, we want to tie the, the little legs. And we want to tie the wings to the body so that it doesn't lose the moisture. I think some people leave them loose, like they're spatchcocking, where you cut it in half and you lay oh, them out. Some people also take the wings off before they cook yeah. their turkey, which yeah. uh, to me, that's terrible. Because you left them long. Right? Yeah, the wings are good. They get crispy. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that so. That is good. Every kitchen should have some... Uh, kitchen twine. It's different. It's not string. This is more of a food safe kind of a thing. Now, if you're fancy, you could do like the wings and then bring it over and do the legs, but I can't do that. So I'm going to start with the legs. We'll see if this is enough. Often I don't get oh, enough. Well, yeah, come back. I was over there. Come back. Okay. Yep. You have rep presents way late at night. You know how to do this so that you don't have a finger to hold the string. Okay, there's that one. Our oven is hot. It is set at 350. Um, whoops, dang it. That's going to be bad too. don't want that to stick out. Because I don't want it to poke a hole in our bag. Ah, uh, okay. yeah, there's that. Now, this one, I'll just cut it extra long and trim it. So this one's gonna go under here. And then sort of hold these like this. Oops, come on, right there. Nice and tight. And, oh, where'd it go? Did I cover up my, I did. I don't wanna cover up my little, um, yeah, I'm a little button that's going to tell me when this is done. Okay. There we have it. Beautifully, beautifully tied up bird. Now all we have to do is get it into the bag. Okay, so we'll do that in a minute because this requires two people. Okay, so we're getting lined up here to put this bad boy bird in the bag because the bird will be in the bag. So I've got my... My turkey bag. We've got the tripod set up so that Matthew can help me. So I'm going to start with putting the uh, Wait, flour in first. They all go at the same time. The celery and onion that I sliced, the onions and a little bit of celery. It's going in the bottom here. Just going to kind of set that up so that it goes there. And then a tablespoon of flour. Stand by. I'm coming back. <laughs> okay. I'll put that in there. I don't know what the flour does. It does something. Okay, now, now my st big strong man. Wait, you, you, you didn't butter Oh, the, I didn't butter the thing. Butter the bird. Butter the bird, this is gonna be really messy. Okay, so you use oil, ah, oil or butter. This is, a, this is like a sexy thing to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we did a little bondage, we, 
put some stuff inside the bird. Rub her down with oil. Yeah. And no complaints. This is the most quiet bird. Okay, that looks really good. We always forget this part to do it uh, in advance. And then you want some... I got my salt and pepper here. Which, you know, this doesn't flavor the inside of the bird, but I tell you what, skin afterwards... Uh-oh, it's going everywhere. That's all right. Let me look at it. Yeah. Okay. Some of that. Okay. This and this end though. There we go. Okay. All right. Now. Okay. Let's put it in. Hang on to that thing. It's going to be a slippery bugger. Oh, the wink. Oh, man. It's always something. It just goes to show. You can do it. It's like a baby. These bags hold big birds, so this one's going to be fine. Okay? I think we're in there. I think so. We're a little lopsided. Somehow. There we go. Right, let's take it a little bit looser. We might have, have to, a little bit of room. Might have to do with the onions. I think it's okay. It'll be fine lopsided yeah. anyway. Oh, now I just did the wing too. Nope, it's fine. Okay. All right. Got that part done. Now we just have to find the tie. There we go. I would recommend buying turkey bags when you see them in the store uh, off season. Well, especially if you live in Humboldt yeah, County. Because as soon as harvest season comes around, the yeah. turkey bags disappear. They're actually a popular thing for um, the growers to keep their put their marijuana put their in. weed in. Put your weed in there, man. Yeah, you can buy them by the hundreds. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make this like, not exactly touching the bird. You can spray the bag if you want, but I think I never had a problem. It's nice to tent it a little bit, just because you can get um, the, the plastic stuck to the skin. And... You could lift the camera up actually now. Well, I could, but. Just the whole thing. Okay, I'm putting like about five little slits in here. Come on. So it can steam. And that's, that's just about it. So now, since this is a 13 pound bird, it's gonna go in the 350 oven for, would you say two and three quarter hours? Yep. So this is really great because this is speedy. So you know, if you get crazy and you're drinking too much and then you're like, oh, we forgot the bird. You could still get it done in a reasonable amount of time. So, all right, I'm gonna stick this in here. The, uh, I'm gonna put it with the, uh, the popper doodad out where I can see it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're just gonna go have more vodka and let that bird cook. What Maybe are you drinking? Some? I'm having some Kettle One Martini. With olives? With olives and some lo-fi vermouth in there that, that I buy locally, okay. it's really good. Um, Salud. <laughs> cheers. Nostravia. <laughs> so like that. Okay, so I'm gonna set the timer for like maybe two and a half hours so that I can check it and see if the poppers popped up. It'll, it'll probably be longer. It seems like it's always longer, but we just trust that thing. But I also have a meat thermometer if I wanna check the, the temp on it. So I'll have to see what that's really supposed to be for a turkey. And then we'll talk about that when that time comes. Okay. okay. Stand by. Okay, so the little jiggy what's in the turkey is popped. I've been checking the temp and it's good. Uh, like the internal temp of the, um, the stuffing was 160, so you know it's like, it needs to be 165, so you know it's re raised up to that. So I'm gonna take this bad boy out of here and hopefully not hurt myself. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, bam. Oops. So there you have it. Um, mm. We're going to um, fuss with this a little bit. But yeah, look how beautiful that is. It has to rest. It has to rest um, about 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, 15 to 20. 
We're going to um, take this bag off soon. I'm gonna try to maybe get some of that juice out of there. There's a, come over here, there's a big old bunch of juice. I might, oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna try to make a little gravy so that's out of the that. Gravy. I'm not gonna show there's you the gravy. There's your gravy stuff. You put the, um, I'm not gonna show you the gravy because just, you know, find that on your own. <laughs> I don't wanna do that. It's oh, too much work. And look, there's, yeah. here's another one. Look yeah, at that. There's lots of juice in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to mm. um, siphon that out of there. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. Okay. Careful. It's science. This is juice somehow. Mm -hmm. Do not spill this on your bare feet. The juice out of the bag. Put it in a pan. And that's what it's you hot. need to do. All you have to do is add some gravy salt and pepper and some flour and water mixture. I just feel like someone else should show how to make gravy because a lot of juice in here. That's ouch. It's really hot. Oh, I have made gravy. I've made gravy. I'm going to make gravy, have. but... But you say someone else should. You know, I don't really want to demonstrate making gravy because someone else probably does it way better than me. Oh, I see. Not me. No, not you. No, some random some, someone else. Some other YouTube. Ouch. Mm -hmm. It's really hot. I'm, I'm sure there are. Yeah, there's probably like chefs. They'll yeah. show you how to do this. Ouch. Think you can poach eggs in this liquid. Oh, it's really hot, too. And we'll show you how to do that. <laughs> no, stop. Stop. <laughs> okay, so this is um, two drunk cooks now. Just saying. Luckily, we can do this. Ouch. Wow, that's really hot. Look how much juice there is. I know, it's a lot. Yeah. It, and it just really comes out of the turkey. <laughs> okay, so taking it out of the pan and over to here, we spared you the details, but... <laughs> It was, uh, it was, it, it was okay, yeah. It, was it, a thing. It, it happened, it worked. Um, yeah, it was so, a here you have a beautiful turkey with stuffing. Oops. And uh, we're going to eat it. So when you're making the gravy, you just. just you keep... just freaking wing it. Well, dude. so this was the juice out of the turkey bag, right? Right, and then I added a little flour and mm -hmm. water. Water, flour and water. I don't Mix measure it. It's not make... thick enough. It's a bit of a roux. Kind of. Kind and of. then I'm going to add, I added, um... Some more flour and water. Yeah, because it's not thick enough. And it's going to be fantastic. It's just, it you looks might... really dumb, but I have a thing I'm going to add to this. You might want some... I some um, wait, I have some magic to add to it. You might want some flavors. Hold on, I have some magic. Well, I added, I think, some salt and pepper, but somewhere up here is a... This bottle, it's, there it is. This stuff. This stuff is called... Kitchen Wait. bouquet, browning oh, and yeah. seasoning sauce. Yeah. And this is perfect for adding there. flavor and making it a little darker. It's still not right though. There we go. Now it looks like a thing. It's gonna be perfect. I just tell you, this is how my mom always did it. It's still not right though. Mom's no thing. They do, and you know, I like my mama's turkey dinner. It's still not right. Still so the the thing for the cooks is, you know, whoever cooks it gets to eat the skin. Mmm. Mm. That, that's fantastic. Wait. Mmm. This is a good piece here, but I haven't got that yet. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. That's really de ah. delicious. Absolutely. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That's the best part. Mmm. My mom used to freak out like, it's going to cool off too fast. <clears throat> no, it's not. Ow. Huh. You have to eat the skin. Ouch. Oh, that's hot. What's that? Okay, so this is like the best part right here. So this little piece of skin right here is the part my dad used to like stab your hand with a knife if you came after it. He liked it the best, but... This is the good part right here. It's a little, my dressing came out a little mushy, but I think it's because those cubes were so tiny. But, oh, but I don't really care. But it's gonna be good. I don't really care, it's gonna be really good. Mm -hmm. um, the turkey is perfectly cooked. Um, 
and slice a couple, but you're just probably gonna have a leg, huh? Yep, leg. Eat that like a king and then throw it over your shoulder? That's right. Like an over shoulder boulder holder. <laughs> okay, so. Or you no, know, like a continental soldier. Ah, look at this. This is the good part right here. Oh my gosh. I just, I just have to eat some of that. Get yourself some, mm. some good skin. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Uh, That's uh, the best. Uh, mm -hmm. It is the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, totally. It's yep. kind of like um, sitting in the pork, the pork thing. Yeah, so. Okay. So, so we're just gonna go off and enjoy our wine and our mm -hmm. turkey and- Matt no, is gonna eat the leg. No mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. uh, but a little bit of carrots and thank you. Thank you for watching Two Cooks in the Kitchen. <laughs> wow, thank you for watching Two uh -huh. Cooks in the Kitchen and we'll see you next time. Excellent. We will. Hold on. Do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. Oh. Perfect. I'll eat these. Who's going to eat that? Me. I'm, I'm, having, I'm having drumsticks. Ooh. Oh, it's oh yeah. Look noise. at that. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's just crumbling. Shh. Whoop. It's all right. We're just going to eat this later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. The end. What? The end. <laughs>